Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and I'm a baby lock educator and uh, have a Facebook group called So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery. If you haven't joined, please do so. Um, today I wanted to show you something that can be kind of troublesome um, and that is to embroider on something that's a, a real high loft. This is a blanket and um, as you can see I've got a, a topper on it. This is a water soluble topper and um, what I've done is I have basted a square so that I can go in and um, embroider a fill that is actually built into the Baby Lock Solaris 2 and uh, other machines have it also. They're just, some of the fills are a little bit different. Altair, Meridian, Destiny, all those machines have, um, have fills that you can turn into knockdown stitches. So what I'm gonna do is, I went into um, IQ Designer and created that fill that you see and then shrunk it to 50%. So I'm going to go ahead and start embroidering. And because I've basted this, I can do this. It's not easy to baste these. First of all, sometimes the basting stitch doesn't take, and you'll see that all happen often. Um, if you hold the thread, it'll oftentimes be a whole lot easier. But you'll notice on virtually every machine, basting stitches have to be run a couple of times for them to actually catch the bobbin thread and the top thread. So um, without this, this topper, without a basting stitch, this topper would be very difficult to control. So the basting stitch, as you can see, this is nice and taut. It's given me that platform to be able to go ahead and sew that that um, fill. So let's go ahead and just start so you can see how that looks. And it's starting with the fill stitch. It's not doing the satin stitch first. Without this fill stitch, without a knockdown stitch, you would never ever be able to see any kind of embroidery design. It would be lost, obviously, as you can see. The stitches would be lost in that high loft. And you know what it does, what what embroidering on a blanket like this does is, or tap or towel, whatever it is that you're giving it as a gift, it takes an ordinary item and makes it very personal and um, shows a lot of caring and time. You know, people that don't embroidery don't that don't do embroidery, they don't know really the time it takes, but it does very much convey fact that you're thinking more about them than just giving them a basic blanket or um, and you can do that on towels you can do it on um, sweatshirts whatever you can make towel sets for new homeowners or um, little burp cloths for new babies things like that it's just a wonderful way to uh, enhance the gift that you get a blank gift okay so you can see that this is making my platform whole lot better to enable those stitches to stand out. So this is going to be, as you can see, it's going to be done in a circle. There will be a set stitch on the outside around the circle the, the of that circle. And then I'll go ahead and put the embroidery design on the inside of that. Okay. So I wanted you to show, I just wanted to show you how, um, how important it is not only to do a knockdown, but also to cover that in this stabilizer. And one thing I didn't explain is the topper, it will stay in the towel. It's important to use heat away because if this were wash away, and I think I said it was wash away, it's heat away. If this were wash away, it would dissolve in the washing machine when you wash it. It has to be actually touched by the sole of an iron in order to melt away. So when you put your blanket, towel, whatever in the dryer or the washer, it will not dissolve because it doesn't come in contact, direct contact with that heat source. So this is uh, really the only way to, I say uh, there are a lot of ways to do various things, uh, but this really is a very important step in embroidering uh, blankets and high loft towels. Okay, so have a fabulous day, have a so blessed day, and if you are in so blessed quilting embroidery, we will have our usually scheduled live today at 4 p.m. PST. All right, have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.